Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm doing a get ready with me using some products that I have really been loving. Everything is relatively new though, except for like maybe one or two things. So these are the products that I can't get enough of recently, while I'm also throwing in some products that I have yet to try. So Mike got me a bunch of milk makeup products that I have yet to use. So I'm gonna be using them for the first time in this video. Also gonna be using some really sparkly, affordable glitters. Um, they were a little tricky to work with, but I did figure out the best way to use them so simply because I'm using a lot of new products today I wanted to do a wear test so be sure to stay tuned until the end to see how all these products last this way you and I can find out together you know how long you can expect these products to wear on your face if you need any touch-ups you know the full rundown as I always give you guys. Just a quick and friendly reminder, if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you. We finally hit 200 subscribers and I am so, so, so excited about it. Really looking forward to the next 100. So let's see how quickly we can get to 300 subscribers. Pretty sure my first vlog has already gone up, so I'm gonna link it up here, but be sure to watch this video first because this is a really, really good one. I guarantee you're gonna love it. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to the new and current favorite makeup products tutorial. Just so you guys know, and we are all on the same page, I went ahead and I washed my face using my Soap & Glory Vitamin C Facial Wash. Did that in the shower, came out of the shower. I used my Kiehl's Daily Moisturizer that I've been using every day that has SPF in it. And then uh, for my lips, I just threw on Cucumber Mint, which is my favorite Burt's Bees flavor. So that is everything that is on my skin right now. Let's go ahead and jump into a milk makeup product. Matcha Toner. Probably should have put this on before my moisturizer, but I'm just gonna throw this on. I have used this before. It's so nice. Now I don't notice a significant difference in my skin while using this. Um, I do have a pretty extensive skincare routine, so that's that, but I definitely do see myself using this a lot in the summer. It doesn't really have much of a scent. It feels super cooling on the skin. It just helps to hydrate my skin even more. Personally, I really do like this, but I think that they're a little expensive for what they are. Like, this should not be more than, like, $8, but I'm pretty sure it's $14. As always, well, as of recently, I will put the prices of everything up on the screen. I have yet to use this. This has been really, really hyped up on social media, especially Instagram. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It has a bunch of really great stuff in it. Cannabis seed extract, which hydrates to plump and smooth for blissed out skin. That sounds wonderful. B vitamins boost skin for a healthier looking base and a glassy post hot yoga class glow. I'm gonna take about that much. I don't even know if you can see it, but it's kind of like a pea sized amount. It kind of smells like alcohol and it's very wet. Smoothing that out all over the face. I'm gonna give that about a minute or so to really soak into my skin. So for today's foundation, this is nothing new. I've had this for a really long time, but I haven't worn it in a long time. Hourglass Vanish Stick, and I am in Warm Ivory. I have been really loving a stick foundation lately. I've been using this Clinique one an awful lot. I don't know, they're just easy. I like blending them in with a brush. I think they give like a little bit of a medium to light coverage, buildable. I'm gonna take a brush, Morphe Jaclyn Hill GH03, and I'm just gonna push this into the skin. Now this Hourglass one definitely has a little bit more coverage than the Clinique one. And I'm just really pushing that in, buffing that in. And why is this getting all crusty on my face? I don't know. I honestly don't love how that foundation is sitting on the skin. Can you see how like scaly it is around my nose? It's kind of like showing dry patches that I didn't know were there. So I haven't used this in a while. Maybe I'm not the biggest fan of this anymore. The Clinique one is a lot more hydrating. That's a little disappointing. But whatever, let's move on to concealer. Maybe we can remedy this crusty nose with the concealer. It's gonna be using my Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in the shade Medium, something that I recently got in my Ipsy bag and I have been using this concealer a lot. And to blend that in, I'm gonna use this Mikasa F300 brush, just patting that into the skin. I'm gonna put it over my eyelids, use this as a primer for my eyeshadow and I'm applying like the lightest pressure underneath my eyes I'm always I'm kind of like grazing the under eyes I get a lot of questions like what concealer do you use that doesn't get crusty underneath the eyes honestly a lot of it has to do with the way that you apply your concealer so if you use like the lightest amount of pressure and just like lightly 
tap it in and move it into the skin. That will give you the smoothest under eyes. It just, it makes a big difference application. I'm going to jump into my NARS Orgasm Palette. If you did not see my full on review of this palette, I will link it somewhere up here so you guys can check it out after this video. I'm going to go into the lightest shade in the palette, which I believe is called Orgasm Ecstasy. I'm going to take that on my finger and I'm just going to pat this on the highest points of my cheeks using this as a highlighter. This product can be used for your lips, your cheeks, and your eyes um but you know i don't agree with all of that and if you watched my review of this you will know why so i'm just going to put that on the tops of my cheekbones and i'm going to bring it on to the bridge of my brows and kind of connecting it in that c shape that i've been doing a lot lately that same color i'm going to put it down the bridge of my nose in padding motions my cupid's bow and a little bit on the chin. I have really been loving this affordable brow pencil. This is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Shade and Define Duo Brow Pencil, and I believe I'm the shade Brunette. What I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a spoolie, so lucky for me, I have a spoolie on the side. This is the Mikasa E400, so I'm just gonna brush my hairs up like this. You can go ahead and use a spoolie from one of your brow pencils. That's totally fine. I'm not against that. Do it all the time. It has one side that is kind of triangular, so it reminds me of the newer Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. And then it has a side that is a thinner, almost just like pen-like, which is great for creating those hair-like strokes. I'm going to go in with the skinnier side. And I'm just going to strengthen the bottom half of my brow. Now, if you are new here, I say this all the time on my channel. When you're doing your brows and you want them to be natural, pick either the top or the bottom to really define. So don't just like draw your brow in on top and draw your brow in on the bottom. That kind of makes them look fake. So for me personally, I enjoy a stronger bottom brow. I'm doing quick strokes to mimic hairs so they also look more natural. Again, I just hate that this doesn't have a spoolie. Not that it's like a big deal, but I think a spoolie is important when you're doing your brows to really see and move the hairs. This way you can see where you need more pencil, where you're missing. Draw a straight line under the front of my brows, which we will go ahead and soften momentarily. Brush them down. And then I'm gonna do lighter strokes up top to fill in where I need it using, again, that pencil side. I'm gonna brush them up one more time. I'm gonna use the triangle side, and what I like to do is I'll put the triangle on its side, and I'll just go up like this and fill in the front of my brow. I find that this makes them more natural. It fills it in a lot quicker. Now I wanna go ahead and just soften out that line underneath, so I'm gonna take my finger and just push the brow product into it and diffuse it a little bit. And if you're someone that likes more of like an ombre eyebrow, which I'm not the biggest fan, but I'll show you guys how to do it just because I do want to soften the front a little bit. You can go ahead and go in with your foundation brush and just stamp the front of your brow. I'm going to go ahead and use my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. This is not new. Um, I have been using this for quite a number of years now. I want to say at least two years. I'm a really big fan of this product. Morphe E3, and I'm just gonna throw that under the eyes to set that concealer. I'm gonna throw it above as well. If you set your entire face and then go in with powder, the powder is gonna go on so much smoother. Because if you think about it, when your skin is damp and you go in with a powder, a bronzer, it's gonna get patchy, it's gonna really stick to the first spot that you go in with, and it could be blotchy and splotchy. So my suggestion to you is if you are going to use primarily a lot of powder products on your face, go ahead and just do a very light dusting. Take the excess, pat it into my hand, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my entire face, but I'm not gonna set wherever I put that NARS highlighter. So I'm just gonna set underneath. I have yet to use this, but I've heard great things about it. This is the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer. Oh wow, I love this packaging. So cute, and I love how small it is. I feel like a lot of my bronzers are very bulky. So this is in the shade Golden Gal, love that. And it's more of like a cool tone bronzer. It's not super dark and it's not orange. I have to say, this is definitely cool toned, which cool tones look best on me. 
So I'm a fan of this thus far. And I'm just gonna go underneath the natural contours of my cheeks. You could draw a line from the top of your ear down if you're not so sure where underneath your cheekbone is. Ooh, that is nice. Put it on the tip of my brush, the bronzer, hit it right here and then go down, sweep it down. That's really gonna create a shadow right here. So your double chin will essentially be gone. Following my jawline, go up here, make this five head more of a forehead. And if you put shadow right here, it makes your face look lifted. So you can see this side looks a little bit more lifted than this side. And that's simply because contouring, you're playing with shadows. I'm going to be taking my collab blush. This is their soft spot sheer blush in this shade just for fun. I like this. It's just a splash of color. I've really been using this a lot. This is currently my favorite, favorite blush that I've used in a very long time. And I just like to dust this and see it gives like such a pretty blush. I'll take what's ever on my brush and just sweep it all over my face, almost like going over the contour with that blush and then going down my nose. It doesn't just make me look like my cheeks are just, you know, nice and rosy. It makes my whole complexion look very youthful. And it's just something that I've really been loving a lot lately. So that has been one of my many tricks that I've been testing out. For lip liner today, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liners. Now, these lip liners are not new to me. I love the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liners. I think they are bomb, but the shade is new. This is in the shade Sandstorm. I have yet to use this. So I just overline them at the bottom, right in the center. And then I'm gonna take that overlining and I'm gonna connect it to where my actual lip is. And what I love about these lip liners is that they're a little difficult to work with, so it's not so crayony. They are a matte lip liner. So if you go in and you make a mistake, it's hard for the mistake to be super noticeable because you really do need to work on that shading and that color by just going over it quite a few times. And then I'm gonna overline the Cupid's bow a little, little bit. And what I kind of do is I do have that natural M in my lips, but I like to curve it and just kind of make it like a hill, you know what I'm saying? Like a little hill connecting the two M's. I'm gonna show you exactly what that does in just a second. And then I take it in, connect it naturally. Now you see what that M did? It kind of made my lip look more like this and lifted my lips a little bit. So this is new in the sense where I have yet to try the color, but I love the Milk Makeup Lipstick Formulas. They are so nice, and although they are matte lipsticks, they're not crunchy, they don't dry down, disgusting, they feel really, really comfortable on the lips. This is the shade New Whip, which is a really, really dark brown. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna like stamp it on the lips first to get a feel for the color rather than going in full on like a lipstick. That's like kind of purpley. Okay, so I wasn't anticipating such a plum shade. I really do like it, but I thought that it was a dark brown. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just clean up around my lips a little bit because it did get a little bit messy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. I'm just gonna take a flat brush. This is a Morphe M432. I'm gonna take a little bit of my concealer, put it on the back of my hand, just like a little dollop like that. I'm gonna dip into this. and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up around my mouth. So I just want a little bit of gloss on the lips. I don't really want such a matte, matte shade. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild. So this is their Color Icon Lip Gloss in the shade Shut the Pluck Up. This is, again, a part of their Summer 2018 collection. So I don't know if you can totally find this, but I'm gonna go in with this because it is purple and I want it to match my lipstick. And I'm just gonna go in. Love this so much more now that we threw that on. This color is so beautiful. What do we think about this color? I think it's stunning. And I love this lip gloss with it. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab this bronzer and I'm gonna take it on a fluffy brush, Morphe M575, and I'm just gonna give a little bit of depth to the eye. Windshield wiper motions into the crease of my eye. I think I'm just gonna do like some glitter. I have some J Cat Beauty glitters that I wanna use today. So I think we're gonna do that because I've yet to use them. I'm gonna bring that underneath the eye. And then connecting the two in the outer corner. 
and just see how much more depth our eyes have now. So that's a really easy trick that you don't even need to invest in eyeshadow for. You can just use your bronzer for that. I just want to lay down a color throughout the eyes. So I'm going to go into this Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions eyeshadow palette. I'm really obsessed with this palette. I did a video on it, a full on review of this, which nobody really seemed that interested in. But if you are interested in it now, I will link it up top. Check it out afterwards. I'm going to go in with this light brown right here, flat brush. And I'm just going to pat this all along the lid. This is going to be a really easy look. Bring it into the crease, up over the bronzer that we put on. We just want like a blown out one, two, three, easy eye look. Our lips are so bold that I don't want too much eye makeup. I just want it to look like profesh, put together, but not like too overdone. J Cat Vanity Goddess Chromatic Pigments. And I'm going to be using this green hued shade today. Does it have a name? Mirror on the Wall. That's the name of this. Now, this is loose pigment. So once you open this, it's going to get all over you, your clothes, your vanity. You're going to have to change before you sit down to film a video. Oh, wait. That was just me. Flat Shadow Rush. This is a Morphe JH41. I'm just going to wet the brush using my Continuous Morphe Setting Spray. This way it picks up that loose pigment. Oh my God, that's so pretty. And I'm just literally putting this all over my eyelid. I think I'm gonna darken up this outer corner, so I'm not gonna put it there. Okay, I'm glad I put this on. I was really scared to put this on, but now I'm really glad that I did. I feel like a beautiful mermaid. I'm just keeping this to the lid. I didn't put it in the crease. This shade right here, smaller blending brush. This is a Luxie 243 Precision Blending. And I'm just gonna keep that to like the very outer third of the eye, stamping, and then just like blending it into that glitter very, very softly. Fourth Dimension, you see that? It's like purpley and like very duochrome looking. I take a pencil brush, this is a JH39. I'm gonna dampen this brush like I did when I used the other pigment. This one looks a little chunkier than the other one. Inner corners of my eyes. Oh my God, yes. Okay, I'm into it. Smaller fluffy brush to really tighten the waterline. I'm just going to go underneath the eye and like connect that kind of crazy glitter to some kind of shade so it doesn't look like it's just floating underneath my eye. You know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. I'm going to go back into Huda. I'm going to take it on that brush oh, just a little bit. I'm going to keep that to the very outer third of the eye and like connect that outer corner. All right. I like this. Very dramatic. I really wasn't going for this dramatic of a look. This is more dramatic than... I've been going, but I'm kind of into it. Kind of looks like I got punched in the face, but like in the chicest kind of way. My favorite mascara of all time, which is the Colab The Works Wow Effect All-in-One Mascara. Essence Make Me Brow in the shade Brownie Brows. And I'm just gonna brush out, like I can see there's glitter in them. So I just wanna go ahead and bring those eyebrows back to their full potential. All right, super excited about this look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set the whole face using obviously my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. All right guys, I really love how this makeup turned out. I have to say I loved everything. The only thing that I'm not really loving right now, which is so shocking to me because it was one of my favorite foundations for the longest time, has got to be this Hourglass Vanish Stick. I'm interested to see how long my makeup lasts both on my eyes and on my face, especially on my face because we did use that Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So yeah, stay tuned. I will check in with you guys at the end of the day. I'll give you guys the full rundown as I always do. Let's remember this. What it looks like i mean you can always rewind to look but this is what we look like at the moment and we're gonna see what we look like at the end of the day all right guys i'm back i know it felt like so long um but i've actually been gone for quite a few hours now it's 9 p.m i left you guys around noon mike and i went to the mall for a few hours your girl went a little ham but i also bought some things for mike so you know generous you know, but yeah, so overall the makeup looks great. I have to say, I think the foundation looks a little better, still a little like crusty looking on my nose. Nine hours of this lip. 
I didn't touch it up once, which is why it's pretty much faded, but it's still really there. And considering we used a matte lipstick and a gloss on top of it, like this is pretty freaking good. And I ate two meals while wearing this. So hats off to you, Milk Makeup and Wet n Wild. And the shadow stayed on like a dream. I cannot wait to try these out some more. I'm gonna wear them all the time. Like look at that inner corner shine. It looks so, so good. I'm surprised more people in the beauty industry aren't talking about these J-Cat pigments. Milk Makeup Hydro Primer, where are you? It's been nine hours. No, it's not 12 hours, but I can tell you now, just from wearing makeup all the time, usually the makeup on my nose is gone, on my chin is gone, because I'm one of those people that I like touch my face a lot, I blow my nose a lot, I have allergies, I'm always like resting my hand, and my foundation is still there. I just wanna remind you guys, if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you here and also click that bell button this way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a new video on my channel. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.